All right, today we are gonna be looking at setting up OSPF on an Aruba CX switch. Um, currently we have three switches set up. Uh, the top one is switch one, bottom left is switch two, and our bottom right is switch three. Um, we can ping from switch three all the way up to switch one. Uh, you can see we've learned a couple routes uh, through OSPF. Uh, so let's uh, just default these guys. We'll just shut them off because I don't have anything saved. And then we'll turn them back on and we will start building this from scratch and showing you how this works. All right, we got the switches defaulted. Um, so now we can start building uh, the interfaces and start getting OSPF set up. So the first thing we need to do is um, give uh, this first switch an IP address. We're just going to set the uh, IP address directly on the interface, but you can do it through a VLAN as well. So we're going to do that. Uh, T interface one one two, and then IP address. Just do it something simple again. Twenty four, and then no shut, and then switch two. Do the same thing. Eleven twenty four. No shut, and then we should be able to ping crossed, which we can. All right, <clears throat> so it's the first step. Just have our interfaces uh, set up, and they can ping each other. Now we need to set up uh, the OSPF. Uh, so that to do that, we're going to do router OSPF one, and then we are going to say router ID one dot one dot one dot one. Um, now some people think that this router ID needs to be a specific IP address, whether it's your loop back or uh, an actual routed interface on your uh, switch. It does not have to be. It can be whatever you want it to be. I always have the first router that I'm setting up be 1.1.1.1, and then the second one I have 2.2.2.2. That's just how I do it. Um, however you want to do it is fine, but this is just how I set it up. Um, and then we need to set up the area. It's just going to be area zero. So we'll do that for uh, switch one. And then we'll come down to switch two. And then we'll do the same thing. Router OSPF one. And then router ID. And then 2.2.2.2. And then set the area as area zero. Okay, we're gonna come back in here to, to uh, set something else up, but we'll just uh, leave this as is right now. Um, so now that we have OSPF set up, what we need to do is go back into the interface and set up area zero and set it up for a point to point. Um, so to do that, we're just gonna go back into switch one and then go back into the physical interface and then say IP OSPF one area 0, .0, .0, .0, 0.0.0.0 and then IP OSPF network point to point and then we'll do the exact same thing down here on switch 2 IP OSPF one area 0, .0, .0, okay all right at that point everything is set up, ready to go for OSPF to work between these two routers. Um, <clears throat> we can add a VLAN on switch two, say 101, um, and then we'll give it a routed interface. Address. We'll just say, we'll keep things simple. All right, so now if we do a show IP route, we can see that we do not have it set up quite right yet. And that's because it's not actually going out an interface yet. So let's just attach that VLAN to an interface. We'll say switch three, since we'll kind of be going that way anyway. Interface 113, no shut. Do no routing because we're actually going to tie some VLANs to it. VLAN trunk native, we'll just say one. And then VLAN trunk 
allowed. One, 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 one. So now if we do a show IP route, there is our VLAN that we created on VLAN one, one, one. <clears throat> but if we come back up here to switch one, um, we do a show IP route and we are not getting that OSPF route um, up here to switch one. Um, to actually get that to come through, we need to redistribute the routes. So to do that, we're going to be going back into router OSPF one, and then we need to be doing a redistribute connected. So that's telling uh, OSPF that anything that is connected, we are going to redistribute that route back into the routing table. Um, so that way we can get to it from up here. And as you can see, we can see our uh, routed interface 1.1.1.1, um, and it is being advertised as an OSPF route here on switch one. So now that we have that, we can go to switch three and see if we can get ping up to switch one through one of the interfaces up there, 10.10.10.10. So let's configure VLAN 11 interface, VLAN 1111, um, IP address, we need to do 11.11.2 slash 24, and interface VLAN, or interface 3, no shut. No routing and trunk trunk one VLAN trunk loud one 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 one. Okay, so now we should be able to ping back to switch two on this interface. But if we try pinging up to ten dot ten dot ten dot ten, can't get out because we don't have a Default route. So let's set that up here real quick. Do that. And now if we try ping 10.10.10.10, we can get through. And from up here, we should be able to ping two. And we can get back from switch one uh, to switch three. We can add another VLAN in here as well, just so we can see more. Um, routes coming through on OSPF. We can just see one coming through right now. If we do VLAN 222, and if we try adding this VLAN, adding this up, uh, IP address 22, one slash 24. If we tie that to an actual interface, uh, VLAN trunk allowed 222. We should be able to see that being populated. And then if we come up here and show the route again, we can see that it's as well being showed as an OSPF route. So that's a quick, simple, easy way of getting uh, OSPF set up. Uh, if this video was helpful, give it a like, subscribe to the channel. Thank you.